Hello Cancer, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. I'm going to do your December 2020 general love reading. Who is coming towards you? What's happening in overall in your love life? What's happening? What's coming next in December 2020? It's a general reading, so take what resonates with you. Leave the rest if it's something is not resonating with your situation. Um, keep in mind, this is a general reading, okay? But you can get a personal reading if you want it. Check out the description box for all the detail for personal readings. Uh, you can contact me on my email address. You can also join me on Instagram for more fun, okay? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cancer, if you follow a sidereal or Vedic astrology. But um, whatever astrology you follow, so you can still watch it if it's resonating with your situation, okay? So let's see what's happening for my Cancers out there. Let's see who is coming. So we have the Princes of Swords, okay? I don't know why. I feel like this is your energy. You're stalking someone, Cancer. Yeah, this is your energy. Now we have the Hierophant. Could be dealing with Taurus. Okay, we have the Fool. It's Aquarius. We also have the Queen of Swords reverse here. Yeah, a lot of air here. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Two of Wands. Fire sign. Here is Leo Sag, maybe. Let's see what's happening in your situation and what's happening in December for your love reading. And we have the Six of Wands. Yeah, it's a Leo energy I'm picking up. Then we have the Three of Wands. A lot of fire. It's an air and fire maybe you're connecting with, especially Taurus and Aquarius here. And Aries maybe with the Princess of Cups. Hmm, water energy also here, maybe dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Some of you, you have a two children or two babies. You could be single mother or divorced woman right now, are trying to get a divorce from your husband or um, wife, does not matter, whoever you are watching this video. Um, because I'm seeing there's a babies involved here. There's a children involved here between you and this person. Uh, but if it's not resonating, obviously, with you, you don't have a children, so please don't force it, okay? Um, yeah, because... This, mis this message maybe is not for you. Now, bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Pentacles reverse here, okay? So something is not working in your favor. So uh, For some, could be it's the same gender sex because I'm seeing Queen of Cups here. So yeah, it's like, okay, I'm seeing with the energy here that, okay, I'm picking up some of you, this is a third party situation, like you are involved with someone that they... They have our babies or they are already in, in could be some type of karmic situation, okay? And you're dealing with that person. That's why things are not working between you and this person. You are not coming together or it's not happening the way you want, okay, with this person. Uh, for others of you, I'm feeling like... Um, like you give this person your everything, whoever this person coming back to you. Like you give this person your heart, your feelings, your emotions, and this person does not give you. And you're waiting for this person to make a move. I feel that you both are waiting for each other. Look at this two of wands and three of wands. You both are waiting. Like you're waiting for this person and they're waiting for you. Like who will make a move here? I don't know. But somebody's making a move here with a six of wands energy. But it could be energy talking about like. You know, you are trying to move on from this situation. Okay, I'm picking up. Could be possibility here. Okay, I'm definitely feeling like uh, with the Hierophant energy, for some of you, this could be someone is committed. Okay, already they could be committed to someone else. Um, some of you, I'm definitely feeling with the Queen of Swords energy and with the Hierophant, a lot of you, you're going through a divorce with this person. And this is someone that you give a divorce or you are in a separation. This person wants to come, by, come back to you because of the babies. They really want another chance at forgiveness from you because of the babies. And with a full energy, they really want you to give them a chance. And nobody's making a move. Okay? But they're coming to win you. They really want a victory with you. They really want to win this um, another chance with you. They really want a forgiveness. Eight of Pentacles reverse, but you're not in a contact right now. You're not dating. You're not together. You may be in a separation. You're not living together. Okay, and the other case is if it's not a marriage and children situation, it, this is someone that you give your everything. You could be teenagers, you could be the same age, same gender, uh, does not have to be. But this person, like you really give, give your everything to this person and this person was really harsh to you. 
really, really harsh. They were not open to you emotionally. They were not even, you know, working with you. They, they were not on the same page as you wanted them to be, okay? And this could be maybe struggle because of the finances with the Hierophant or it could be cultural difference or it could be long distance between you and this person. That's why things were really tough and harsh between you and them. But I see with the two of wands and six of wands, finally this person is coming to win you. Um, they could be spying on you on social media, but I'm seeing with the page of swords and the princes of cups, they're going to express it. They're going to talk with you. They really want to talk. And this conversation, maybe you are going to feel victorious. Like finally, this person is here. Finally, the person that you have been waiting for, it's here. So it's looked like a reconciliation, but it was a situation shape. But for others of you, I don't know if you will forgive this um, baby father or baby mother. They wanted to reach out to you for another chance. But they really want to win you. With the full energy, it's like a new journey, new cycle, and new beginning between you and this person. They really want a, I feel, a reunion with you. But still, let's see from this oracle's card that what's happening and who is coming i feel like they really want to be with you though we have happy family reverse number four yeah is this is someone that they they felt like they're not happy or they really want a happy family with you things did not go well between you and this person it's definitely your partner your ex-husband or wife or someone that you have a babies with, you're, you have the children with, okay? Now we have the deep knowing, number 43, it's a seven number, it's very spiritual number here. So it's a lot of you, you definitely right now, you are definitely awakened or you're going through your spiritual awakening. We have um, there and now, 32 reverse, yeah, things did not go well, there and now. You are stuck in some type of situation with someone, this is more looks like a karmic situation, whoever this person is coming to you. Now we have the truth to be told, number 14, it's reverse, yeah. Some of you definitely waiting for this person to speak up their truth, but they were not honest with you. They were not even, they were really harsh. I'm not saying this person was open for their communication. They were not even dating you. They were not even there for you. They maybe choose someone else over you, or they may be too much busy in their work that they did not even care about you. This is that person. Now we have the, the tribe, number eight, reverse, yeah. Some of you, this could be out of your reach, out of your, your culture or religion. That's why their family was, you know, like not, maybe their family was between you and them. You know, that's why they were not taking this relationship serious. Okay. So let's see from Romance Angel now who is coming towards my cancer people out there and what's happening. Yeah, we have the separation and worth waiting for. This is definitely someone that you separated yourself. They separate, they, they may be um left you you were in a separation with them okay and maybe you separate yourself from this person and now it's worth waiting for they feel like a lot of you you're waiting for this person by the way i will be honest you're waiting for this person to reach out to you and come back to you yeah this person is definitely going to speak up their truth because they were not honest with you I, f I strongly feel this person choose someone else over you or something over you. Yeah, this is definitely past life connection that you're separated yourself from. They're coming for another chance. They're coming for reunion, reconciliation. Heart to heart conversation. They really want to talk to you. They really want to talk. They really want to express communication. True love, romance of a lifetime. And we have codependency. Yeah, there was definitely some addictions or obsessions or some issues between you and this person. That's why you have to... You mean to be separated. It was really mean to be. That was not the right time to be together. But now maybe this person is awakened to this love. They, f they realized in your absence when you separate yourself or they may be separate. Maybe they left you and you realize that this is your true love and you're going to be together. You really love each other and you're going to be together. What I'm picking up here. So I'm definitely picking up. This is someone from your past is returning. If you're looking for new love, sorry, this is not your reading. But you have a choice. You can leave this person. You don't want to be with this person. This is your choice, okay? But I'm reading up for a lot of people. So definitely it's uh, because I feel, I believe you're waiting for this person. Worth waiting for. You waited for this person. You prayed for this person and this person is here. Why? Because it's your soulmate, okay? I should not say anything else here. Because it's your true love. It's someone that you feel soul connection with. This is a romance of a lifetime. This is someone that you feel soul connection with. I told you, because we have the deep knowing with the number seven here also. You're dealing with your soulmate. Okay, you definitely have some soul connection or soul contract with this person that it's not finished yet. So this person is coming back because still this love or these things are not over between you and this person. 
you're going to be together. They really want a new journey with you, a new beginning with you. Yeah, this person really wants to tell you that they like you, they love you, they have feelings for you. They awaken, I feel. I feel they are awakened to this love. After the separation, they really realized or they really now felt it like you are the one. Okay, so that's your reading. I will see you in the next video. Bye.